after going to tell you how we make a balloon tamponet we will first share with you the equipments required for making a balloon tamponet which should all these equipments should be sterilized we need a syringe which is a 50 ml you can see it secondly we need a condom then we need a 20 the thickest actually number of foley catheter should be 20 number and you should have two of them we need thread we need ringer lactate or normal saline in a glass or you can also cut the ringer lactate bottle you should have a scissor this is artery forcep to hold the catheter so, so now this a uh, uterus has been made on the piece of paper to show how easy it is to inflate a balloon now first you have to clean the vagina and so that asepsis aseptic precautions are taken before you insert a balloon tamponet in the, the uterus to prevent bleeding from vagina and uterus now you can see in the video that a foley's catheter has been inserted into the condom you should leave leave a little bit 1 cm space above the foley's catheter and then you should tie at the lower end not very tightly not very loose just adequate enough so that the fluid which we are using to create tamponade pressure inside the uterus is just adequate the doctor here is tying it again two or two or three times he is just trying to be very sure that there is no leakage in the uterine balloon tamponade which he has inserted now again he is tying it to be confirmed enough so that there is no leak now after this he will insert into the uterus the balloon tamponade which he has made you can see it now he will again tie it and he will now insert it because this step is very important because we are trying to inflate the condom with around 300 to 500 ringer lactate or normal saline so that a pressure is created inside the uterus a tamponade is created and that tamponade pressure presses and compresses over the uterine blood vessels which are bleeding inside the uterus which cause the postpartum hemorrhage now he has inserted the balloon tamponade into the uterus which is very easily seen by all of you now he will pick up the foley catheter and from the end where we inflate the balloon he is going to push 50 ml ringer lactate and just to keep the so that the inflated fluid which he's put inside the uterus does not come out he has clamped the next the other part of the foley catheter so that the ringer lactate does not flow out this is a very important step because every time you have to give 50 ml to create a tamponade inside the uterus and the amount of ringer lactate which we can give is from 300 to 500 ml till the bleeding per vaginum stops you can clamp it also or there are two ports you can see in this video that one is from where we inflate the balloon when we use it for urine uh, evacuation but the next port from where he is inflating the balloon for ubt you can also take the next i told you you should have a second foley catheter the first port from where we inflate the balloon you can use that end of the valve and put that part of the from the second balloon into this first 
Foley's catheter which you are using for making the UBT. This is the another way of preventing Ringer lactate to come out of the uterus. Now you can see that balloon is really inflated and a pressure is being created and you will see by when you are putting inside the balloon all the fluid is going inside bleeding will stop though you have to monitor every 15 minutes after this procedure is over for 24 hours and you have to observe all the parameters of that the abdomen funnel height does not increase there is no flesh bleeding and when you put the balloon tamponade inside the uterus you have to also pack the uh, at the vagina so that the foley's catheter does not come out and you have to also see the urine output also which is also you have already inserted when you had started the management of pph all these uh, the parameters you have to see to see that the bleeding stops now after 24 hours you have to now like the way you inflated the balloon by putting 50 ml till 300 ml take it for an example but now after 24 hours when you see the bleeding is uh, stopped and the vitals are normal you will take out deflate the balloon taking out every 50 ml and then take out the balloon thank you